I don't know how many bones I've broken. I think it's about 25. I never broke a bone on my mountain bike until this year. In the last six months, I broke my collarbone twice. I'm not that kind of rider who, uh, who goes out there and uh, lands all the tricks first go perfect, you know? The longer you ride as a pro athlete, the wiser you get. And the more you've seen, and the more you've felt, and the more hits you've taken. I'm more of that kind of rider who tried 10 times and landed once. Going down and injuring yourself is a huge part of the sport. If you're on the edge of a riding, you go down. And every once in a while, you go down hard. I just have like broken collarbones. I mean, I broke this one three times, this one two, dislocated ones. I've had five knee surgeries, four complete ACL reconstructions, you know, ribs and legs and everything, including my back. I got stitches all over the body. Too many concussions to remember. For all the ligaments in my right ankle. I broke a bone in my back, it took me out for a year or so. Broken ribs, torn the muscles between my ribs, that was pretty painful. This is a weird thing because um, like if something is really hard and you touch it and you burn yourself, you're not going to touch it again. But when you crash on your bike, you try again. So that's a weird thing that, that we do and that we're going to keep doing. Here is dramatic, man. Look at this. <laughs> I look wasted, man. <laughs> Some people have the bad habit of chewing their fingernails. I seem to have developed the bad habit of breaking collarbones, and I'm going to try to cut it. Maybe some. Uh, maybe there's a, they have a patch or a gum for it or something. <laughs>